Parish residents say they're not surprised their parish had the second highest population loss of any parish or county in the United States. As Rob Masson reports, four Louisiana parishes ranked in the top 10 when it comes to losing residents, with Hurricane Ida being a prime factor. After Hurricane Ida, it took Belinda Laws a full year to rebuild her Laplace home, and it wasn't easy. If this happens again, if I flood again, I'm going to be a part of the 5% or more that will leave St. John Parish. Laws and many of her neighbors had to rebuild for a second time in the past 10 years due to flooding, and three neighbors on her block are gone. The neighbor here, I'm not sure where, where they went. In fact, the U.S. Census Bureau found that last year, St. John Parish had the second highest rate of population loss of any parish or county in the country, with a total of four Louisiana parishes in the top 10. Every time a little storm come through, we got to gutter the house out. If it's every year about, you know, a lot of people moving. Aside from St. John Parish, Terrebonne Parish came in at number three, Plaquemines number four, and St. Charles at number eight. All were heavily damaged by Hurricane Ida in 2021, and each saw a population loss of between 3.3% and 5.1%, with St. John Parish the highest. It's, you know, always a concern when we see population decreases and how do we undo that trend. Residents say high insurance and rebuilding costs are keeping many from coming back, but the governor says help is coming. We have a crisis uh, and we've already appropriated $45 million to the Insure Louisiana Incentive Fund. Uh, there were nine additional companies that expressed interest in those dollars to an amount that exceeded uh, what was uh, available by about $17 million. Local builders say with the new West Shore levy and improved building standards, insurance costs are likely to go down, but some residents wonder if they can wait that long. This time, if it happens again, no, I can't do it again. Congressman Steve Scalise says he and others are trying to get FEMA to set lower flood insurance rates, but he says population loss has a lot to do with government policies. States that are gaining right now have zero income tax. The states that are losing population have higher income tax. Though many St. John Parish neighborhoods still contain damaged homes, improvements are visible. We still have a lot of um, recovery still to be done. However, you know, much of the progress is very visible. Now hurricane weary residents like Belinda Laws anxiously await completion of the 18 mile, $760 million West Shore protection levy. I'm just praying with hurricane season about to come up again that we don't have this problem again. That new levy is not expected to be completed until next year. And some people believe an appointed insurance commissioner might be more effective in reducing insurance costs than an elected commissioner, but the governor isn't sure it would make a difference. I'm reserving judgment on whether we should elect or appoint uh, the insurance commissioner. Uh, obviously, we do have a, an insurance crisis in Louisiana. Uh, it, is, it is because of the, the number of very severe hurricanes that we've had over the last few years. At this point, Governor Edwards says he supports an effort to put extra money into an insurance incentive fund to try and lure in more companies and hopefully lower insurance costs.